Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let's go today. We're doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing Crit Thanatos, fighting a raw. Uh, pretty sure it's Chris. And yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing Crit Thanatos. I'm gonna go obviously transcendence, because you need power in order to crit hard. Um obviously I'm gonna go hydras because you need more power to crit harder. And then after that, oh, I don't know what just happened to my voice. After that, I'm going to go. Okay, he's raw. So let's think logically. Shadow Steel Shuriken, I need the anti-heal. He's raw, and he's going to sit in that three. Deathbringer, I need damage. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. Um, and then I need Wind Demon because pen. I'm not going to have any other pen other than Hydra's and Wind Demon. Do I go Rage? Am I a Rager? I guess I could go Rage. But uh, am I going to be able to kill a Raw five times to where Rage is, like, useful? <laughs> That's the question. Oh, he used his... He used his big ability on the minis, so I get the biggie for free. Let's go. Okay, turns out I cannot clear. Ouch. 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 Where'd he go? Oh, hello. You don't scare me, demon. Okay, never mind. You're way better than I will ever be in my entire existence. <clears throat> nice we actually hit those we actually hit those scythes can i get this in time or is it an absolute no-go nice we got it i'm 400 gold away from the transcendence where i can start scaling Yeah, yeah. I almost got erased. I almost got erased off the face of the planet. Oh. That little mini on the blue buff tried to <laughs> try to give me the good old dick twist. <laughs> Circle all the way around my body. What the heck? Okay. You can have those. I was gonna take them, but if you insist... Are they back? I transcendence. I item item. And then I head back. I assume he's going chrono spendant. It is a good first item. Um not nearly as good as Book of Thoth, but it does make him relatively tanky in the in the form of like twenty percent more healing and health buffs and Wow, that did a lot. 280? What if I just like... Fuck! Like, what if I just did that, you know? What if I just blink, scythe, and then... Slapped. All right, I want to get back in time for that red, so I'm going to go... I'm actually going to go straight into Rage. I'm not going to go Hydra's yet. Please don't take the red. I backed in confidence. Oh, nice. He's not. Hello, demon. By the way, a lot of people don't know this, but if you look away from Raw's 2 like you would with Medusa ult then it actually doesn't blind you it still does damage and it still slows you but it doesn't blind you what if I just did the good old weaving out chung?
I only have 24 stacks of, of trans. Rage is only 1150 from tier 2, so we can actually get a rage pretty quick. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be a Spectral or a Breastplate. I assume it's going to be a Breastplate because he started with Chronos Pendant. So, I'm assuming he wants, you know, max cooldown as soon as he can. Also, assuming you did your blue. A lot of assumptions going on here, but I was right. Do these. Snap up the blue. Now, something that's... Kind of lame about crit damage games and kind of awesome about crit damage games. There's like two different ways to look at it. Is one, the games tend to be a, a bit more farm heavy because I, you know, crit items are the most expensive items in the video game. So obviously you need to farm have more heavily for those than you would in normal games. So um, yeah, it's going to be a more farm heavy game. But on the flip side, it is, it's also a longer game. With more potential for funny things to happen. So, you know, there's a good and bad to crit games. Plus, I mean, once you got the crit online, oh baby, it's it can be really funny. <laughs> I'm thinking about calling this build Death From Above. Because what I assume will happen, as long as everything goes correctly, which never does, but... You know, let's just dream for a second. Um, assuming everything goes correctly, I alt him. I auto attack him with my Hydra's auto. It crits. Ooh, 700 damage. And then, while he's still stunned, I hit him with my Scythe. Ooh, 400 damage. And then, with my Hydra's auto, ooh, another 700. And then he's dead. Before I can react. Boom, auto, boom, auto, boom. He's dead. That quickly. As fast as it came, it left. That's what I want. If it goes that way, this is probably one of the most successful videos ever. Oh my god. How much health? How much health? How much health? Three health. How dare you? How dare you call yourself a minion? I can't back because I need red. Oh, but what if he alts it? I can't get it anyways then. Hmm. Hmm. I'm alting. Oh, ow. He's better than me. 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 Nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, I'm terrified. Ow. Oh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, please. <laughs> oh, no, please. Holy shit. My heart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. My fucking heart, dude. <laughs> it can't take that much stress. Jesus. That is terrifying. All right. Try to let's try to calm down. Everyone calm down. Oh. All right. Get a level head. You lived, Sam. You lived. You're fine. Everything's okay.
Oh. Well, that was ballsy. Where's my crits? Crits me. Nice. I didn't get any. Oh, I got one crit. But the main point of that kill was the extra stack on Rage. I got one crit in 12 auto attacks on him. Is that real? Did I actually only get one crit in 12 autos with a 30% crit chance? Okay. I have 60%. Well, 63% now. Because Deathbringer is 30. This is 30. And the passive is 30. Or is 3. Per kill. I still want my Hydras. I can't see. I'm blinded. Oof. Even with his, with his breastplate online, I autoed him for 200 there. Take note. Ah, oh, I missed. I kind of want to blink on him, but I feel like I won't kill. Oh. You died of this though, right? All right. An extra 3% crit chance, baby. And I got the XP for that. Let's go. Red buff spawns in about 30 seconds. So I will just wait it out. Now, like I said, I want Hydras. I want Shadow Steel. Um, but an item that I haven't mentioned yet that I want is Blood Forge. It does a lot of damage. It's very high in the deeps department. Um... Do I go 100% crit or not? I don't really feel like I need to. Uh, I have 66. This will give me 20%. 86. And then every kill will give me an extra 3. Up to... 95%. 95% crit chance is definitely good enough. So I'm going to go... Should I go Wind Demon or... or that gives me pen. This gives me anti-heal. Hello. My wave! You asshole! <laughs> Alright. I go Shadow Steel now. And I should have 80-something percent crit. Yeah, 89. And with two more kills, Rage will be fully stacked, giving me 95%. I am 100% good with that. Then we can go Hydra's next item, and then we can go either Blood Forge or we can go Heart Seeker. Blood Forge technically gives a lot more power than Blood Seeker or Blood Seeker than Heart Seeker. Heart Seeker is 65, Blood Forge is 75, so kind of a no-brainer if you want power to go Blood Forge. What if I just all? Okay, 92% crit chance now. Oh my god. I just autoed that bull demon for 1100 damage. I don't even have my power items yet. I only have my crit chance items. I guess, did I have red buff on? I probably had red buff on while that happened. You know, something that I just noticed is I only have, I only had 10% cooldown. I will only have 20% cooldown. Hydras, auto, Hydras. Ugh. Oh, he went for it. He went for it. You got to respect it.
I'm farming hard for my hydras right now. Perfect. Oh my god, I forgot I had bull demon. I forgot I did bull demon. It's gonna waste. No. I don't do a lot of damage to this. Ow. Ooh. Okay, it didn't waste. I got the bull demon the same second that my, my, or I'm sorry, I got Phoenix. Holy shit, I just autoed that thing for 1300. Um, I got the Phoenix the same second my Bull Demon buff ran out. Dude, I do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Alright, so let's get that and then we'll go into the Blood Forge now. Blood Forge angle. And if my calculations are correct, once I get Blood Forge and a 500 pot, and a red buff. I will have over 500 power. 500 power is insane. If you get crit by somebody that has 500 power, uh, I mean, just uninstall smite because you're you're you are not you're going to gray screen. 100% you're going to gray screen. Blood Forge is a thousand gold away. I still need one more kill, by the way, for my rage. All right. Okay. That was a decent proof of concept. Decent proof of concept. I missed my one, so it didn't work. But two autos did 1,054 damage. So definitely a good proof of concept. And then I want, like I said, I want this video to end with a death from above. Alt him, auto attack. One him, auto attack. That's all I want in my life. And if he dies to that, oh, that's even better. All right. Blood Forge acquired. I have 337 power. Red buff gives me 20%. My, uh, it gives me 20%, right? It might give me 15 they change the numbers around on a red buff every season, so I can't remember. It used to be 25% a while ago. I don't know what it is now. It's 20% physical power plus 5. Okay, so I have 410 physical power. But then if I get my 500 pot now... 500? Oh, 458. I mean, still. 458 power. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's gonna chunk. It's gonna chunk. Shit, he's in his fountain. Oh, that did almost nothing. Bro, bro, I just hit for 1700. What the dick? Auto one, auto. It worked. <laughs> oh my. All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to end with that. I don't want to end. I want I want what I want, dude, and I told you it's death from above. I want what I want and it's death from above. I just hit for 1900. I don't think you guys understand. I just hit for 1900. 1900. What? What the fuck, dude?
dude. Okay. I'm going to count it as death from above, even though I didn't technically kill him exactly what I said. I didn't alt auto one auto and he died, but I did alt auto miss the one and then auto twice. And everyone was a crit for like 600 or higher. So that's insane, dude. That's insane, dude. I actually autoed for like 1980 this game. I basically autoed for 2K in one hit at some point during this game. That's incredible. Incredible. GG. Um, shout out to Chris for memeing with me. I appreciate it. He didn't go spectral, and I know he did that on purpose to make the video more entertaining, so I appreciate you, Chris. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.